So, after setting your saw to 35 degrees, measure right to the tip, top part of the blade, a half inch, when it's at 35 degrees. Then, measure one inch, right to the edge of the blade again, that corner of the tooth, the highest corner of the tooth, one inch from the, from the fence. Now that's going to give you your angled cut. Okay. Okay, so now with your blade set 35 degrees, you take your one and a quarter inch stock by one and three eighths, with the one and three eighths side up, you make two paddles. should look like that. There's your V, right there. Okay, now we'll set up the saw for the other way. It's also a good idea to mark your stock. I mark mine like with felt pen so I know what that's the one and three eighths side. That's the one and a quarter inch side. So so I can always keep track of where I am. Now we're gonna set the blade height at one half inch. Right. right to the tip of that there tooth. Okay, one half inch that way. And then, there we go. Seven eighths from the inside of the fence to the inside of the blade, or one inch from the outside of the blade to the inside of the fence. And that will give us and then we can remove the the waste from the wedge. one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Well, I have the saw blade set at one inch here. I tweaked this blade a bit. And just so it'll just clear the top of the, the wedge. So, there we go, we got 14 done in about 15 minutes, like it, it's, once you set up, you run a whole bunch through at one time, man, it goes fast. Alrighty. Oh, we are the boys of Chorus, we hope you like our show, we know you're rooting for us, but now we have to go.